So you bought your Mac Mini or your Mac Studio. Now what? Let's get into it. So one of the things that you would notice, guys, is once you get your Mac Mini or your Mac Studio, guys, is you're going to be running out of ports. Because, for example, the Mac Studio comes with four ports at the bottom with a USB-C Thunderbolt 5, and you have two USB uh, ports at the front. With the Mini, I think you have three at the back and two at the front. And the one thing, like I said, mentioned before, if you connect your monitor to the ports at the back or if you have like a hub, you are definitely going to be running out of space very quickly. And not to mention, you know, you want to also have storage. I'm going to be including links in the description below for all these products I'm going to present to you today. That way you can, you know, decide whether you want to get it or not. All right. So the first one I want to get into, guys, is this simple one. And this, this particular model is actually not really in the market anymore, but I have some substitutes that I'm going to be, you know, have in the description below. So this particular one comes with a card reader on there as well. So if you're someone with the Mac Mini, this will be perfect for you. And it also comes with a micro SD card as well. Also comes with uh, three USB uh, three ports, and it also comes with an HDMI connection. So the simple thing is for me to just connect it to my computer like so and then I have this is a card right here or you know it's a flash drive and pretty much all I do is just plug it in and once I plug it in it should pop up and you can see it right there on my screen so now I can now just drag files to and from the Mac studio and get it out into wherever I want to go. All right, so that's the first um, product right there, guys. So the next one now, guys, is this uh, connector right here. This particular one right here, pretty good. I've been using this for pretty much a couple years now. This particular brand is no longer available, but I do have a substitute below in the description. So what this is, is a SATA to USB-C. So it has a USB-C connection right here and you can connect your, sorry, you can connect your um, SSD to this. So I'm gonna just show you guys right now. So I have this here and these are pretty, in terms of price wise, they're pretty good. And the reason for me, I'll get into storage in a little bit, but this is actually perfect. Like I said, you are, you know, quickly running out of uh, space on your Mac Mini or your studio. So if you look at this now, you can see the connections right here and there's the same connections right here. And all you do, you just kind of connect it right here, like so. And then now all I'm gonna do is just connect it to my computer at the USB-C front or the front. And then once that comes up, it comes up nicely right there. And I have access to my files right over here. And we're off to the races. So once we have gotten that out of the way now, the next thing that I want to get into, guys, is storage. And I can't emphasize this too much, guys. I think Apple is literally robbing us when it comes on to, you know, when you go into that section where you want to add more storage the price has keep on going up and up and up and it's really ridiculous for me i got the one terabyte on my on my mac studio because i think the 512 was not enough for what i do so let us get into it now so if you look at this right here you can see this was my actual what i selected for my setup right so i had the um the 16 core CPU, 40 core GPU, and a 60 core neural neur engine. And then I went and I got the 64 gigabyte unified memory. And with that, like I mentioned before, I also got the one terabyte SSD. But imagine if you want to go to a two terabyte or even a four terabyte, not to mention wanted to go to an eight terabyte. I think it is just robbery. So what, I'm, what, I, what I do have for you guys today is I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. What I have for you guys today, let me just eject this from the computer. I just wanna show you guys this. So this has been something that I've been using and this is a, a hub for the SSD that is actually inside the drive right here. And if I just open it up, let me get my screwdriver. So this, this actually has 
a fan in there and you have the 990 Pro from Samsung. And I think this is a much cheaper uh, cost value because if, like I mentioned before, if you go back to Apple's website here, they're gonna charge you $900 to upgrade from a one terabyte to a four terabyte. This is a four terabyte and the price for this guys, I'm gonna see you real quick. Price on this is $279 guys. $279 versus the $900 guy, which is robbery, right? So with this drive guys, like I mentioned before, you can add in your, I think it goes up to eight terabytes if I'm not mistaken. I'll make sure to put those numbers on the screen just to make sure I'm, I'm saying, telling you uh, something wrong. But you have this uh, four terabyte in here. It comes in a fan, so it's going to help with cooling. And also what I did was, as you can see right here, this is a heat adhesive that's going to be going on top of your 990 to help to keep it uh, cool in the system. So pretty much, I'll just enclose it back like so. Right, and it comes with just one single screw. So I'm just gonna screw it in, just like so. So once it's screwed in, you have these ports at the back right here. This is one that you're gonna be pretty much focused on. I, I really, this is really has no use. So this is what's gonna kind of, you don't need no external power in order to have this run. It's literally gonna get the power from your actual system to run itself. I'm gonna show you actually how fast this actually is. So like I said, you're gonna connect it here. So let me just connect it to the machine right now. So now that it's actually connected to the system now, I'm gonna open up this software right here. And literally, I'm just gonna do is, I'm gonna do a speed test. What I'll do is I'll show two speed, speed tests, guys. First, what I'll do is I'll run a speed test on the actual hard drive that is inside the Mac itself. And then I'm going to do a speed test on the 990. So you can tell me what you guys think. And also the casing is actually a Thunderbolt 5 casing. So just keep that in mind, guys. All right, so the first I'm gonna run, run on the, 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 the Mac internal hard drive. I'm just gonna run it first. So right now we're getting a read of 6519.82 on the read. Let's see what the right is gonna give us. So the right is actually giving us 64, 6455.11, all right? So that's what we're getting on the, the internal drive right now, which is really, really good, all right? And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my Samsung now. Once I select that now, guys, is I'm just gonna run it again. And on the Samsung, I'm getting 7,027.62 on our read. And I'm getting on the right, 6,453.41. Trust me, it is fast. <laughs> All right, guys. So, you know, for you to be spending, you know, $900 to buy this, versus just spending $279 for the for the um the 990 Samsung and also for the enclosure you're gonna just spend $199. Just add it up and you see the difference. Alright so you're definitely gonna be saving some money when you come on to versus with the Apple price. It's highway robbery. All right, so let's move on. So the next thing I want to show you now is these other external uh, drives that I think you'll be interested in. And these are also, this, this is also from, this is from SanDisk. So these right here are pretty in terms of the price. So this, these two are one terabyte each. All right, so let me just click and see what the price is. So for the Samsung SSD guys is, once I'm checking right here is 130, $35 guys for a two terabyte. If you want to get yourself a one terabyte, that's gonna be around $99. So if we should go back to Apple's pricing, so let's say, like I mentioned, the, the standard 512 that comes with my 
uh, Mac Studio. If you want to upgrade to the one terabyte here, it's $180 versus $99, guys. So you can actually keep that in mind to say that you're gonna save some money when you buy these. Because even I go up to the two terabytes here with these, it's, it's only $135, so you're still saving even though you can go up to the 512 here, the sorry, the the two the two terabyte drive on the Max on the on the on the Apple website was five hundred and forty dollars. Think about that for a second. Two terabyte, five hundred and forty dollars, guys. It is highway robbery. And I'm gonna just gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna plug this in. Like I mentioned before, so this one is the two terabytes sand disk right so i'm gonna just uh, minimize this right here all right so this is a two terabyte guys and i'm gonna run a speed test on this so let's just select that and then we're just gonna run these on the website they're projected to be around 1050 megabits per second that's the projected um speeds success up to you know 1050 so what i'm getting right now on this is 682.67 for the read and let's see what they'll give us on the right now the right is four well it's ah it's even higher the right right now is 806.96 guys for this so think about it guys if we go back to the apple website you are saving an enormous amount of money if you should go with these external uh, drive right here. You're gonna save some money. So I'm just trying to help you guys to save, use, save yourself some money from the price gulging that Apple has on their website. It is just horrendous. And um, let me see. And like I mentioned to, to you before, these, I've been using these for quite some time now, guys. These drives right here, these Samsung drives. And if you want to know the price on these now, this is a one terabyte drive. And this is around $149, guys. These are pretty good. You know, the price, the, the, the speeds on this aren't, aren't necessarily the best because I think they go up to about 500 megabits per second. So they're not necessarily the fastest, but if you need something to have your storage on, I think these are good options for you to have. And you're gonna save in the long run some good money. You know, that money can be used for whatever. If you want to buy a nicer monitor for your for your, for your Mac Mini or your Mac Studio, you can have that, you know, savings in the bank. And there are a couple options out there. I'll, I'll, I'll share about two of them in the description below that you guys can actually look at. But I think it will be more of a, a better choice for you guys to choose, um, you know, the external drives versus buying the storage off Apple's website. And two other things I want to share to you guys is two apps that I actually really do enjoy. I'm just gonna minimize this right now. And these two apps are, one of them is called Ice, and the next one is called Switch. And the Switch I really like is I'm able to have quick access to certain functions that you have to go deep inside the software of Mac. And like, for example, if I want to switch from dark mode to light mode, I can easily just toggle that on and off. If I want to hide, let's say, you know, the if you have files or whatever on your desktop and you're about to do like a screen recording or whatever, are you going to go to kind of some kind of meeting on your computer? You can quickly hide just by tapping and you're going to say hide desktop icons and boom, my hard drive is pretty much gone from there and you have different options right here but also not only that you can do a screen saver you can just turn it on right away you can go to night shift you can do auto dock and so much more the next one now what i mentioned before is the ice and with this now guys you can literally hide your icons many icons on top but not only that if you go inside the actual software itself you can see here i can literally just drop icons from the high to the visible and vice versa so you guys can look into that these are all free i'll leave those i'll leave links in the in description below so you guys can actually download them for yourself so let me know what you guys think of you know these 
external hard drive these attachments and see whether or not these are something that you'll be interested in let me know in the description below and also if you guys have any other or how should i say if you guys have any better options leave them in the comment section below that might help someone else out out there but these have been working for me quite fine for over the couple of years or whatnot and i'm pretty happy with with them so guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick video if you guys did smash that like button guys if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs>